Alright guys, I don't have much battery life left and I had to delete some space on the camera to even get this video. So I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible, but yeah, get as much information and, uh, in as I can. So the way this works, this is a mega squirt wiring diagram. You can find this online or at DOI AutoTune if you search around their page and they'll give you a link to some forums that have this basic wiring diagram. This does work with MS1, 2, 3, um, even the micro squirt, I believe. This one in particular is mega squirt V. 3.0 v3.57 but it is a generic generic external wiring basically the way it works um, ignore this right here um, that's going to actually come from your ignition switch that switch right there so what you're going to have is you're going to come off the battery to an 80 amp fuse and it's going to go from battery to the uh, ignition relay then this is going to come from your ignition switch, um, which if you're working on a 240Z, 260Z, or like mine, 280Z, um, right on the steering column, pretty easy to find, just use a test light. Um, you're going to come from that, and that's what's going to power this relay on. And then you're just going to ground it to the chassis somewhere. And the way this works is when that comes on, which it doesn't pull much amperage, I think it's like 3, 4, maybe 5 amps to the max on the signal side, um, that's going to close that relay and it's going to send power to your fuse box like this and that's your main power is going to come into this one and when you get main power into this it's going to turn all these fuses give power to them those fuses power everything on your mega squirt um, so basically when you get to that point you need to just follow what wire goes where into what that one's pretty easy so all your main power is doing is coming in here and feeding this relay. You need to have a relay on this because relays are great. They require a little amperage to turn on. They are a way to feed high amperage using a low amperage circuit to turn on. If you try to use just your key source to power the mega squirt, um, it's going to blow a fuse every time or burn wires up. Um, this you need to come directly from the battery to power the mega squirt so it gets the full amount of electricity and voltage that it needs um, and that way you don't burn anything up this does need to be a pretty good size wire as well and then when it comes into that it feeds your main power um, you can get a fuse block like the one I have um, it's a FB90 uh, BWD picked it up at O'Reilly's um, it's a pretty good one what I like about it is it's expandable um, you can take this piece top off here this junction block and either put it down here or you can add another one of these fuse blocks to this um, this one is a 10 fuse block. Um, I've got plans for a couple other things to run off this as well. Um, so that's basically it guys. And then the rest of the stuff um, is just power, just following the diagram, understanding that stuff. Um, right here, it's I don't really know how to feel about it. I kind of want my fuel pump relay to come off the main battery source as well to feed the 87 side. And then, um, you know, of course the 30 side is going to go to your fuel pump. And then this one, you're just going to feed power constantly to 86 or key on if you wanted to, would be fine. Doesn't really matter um, because the mega squirt is going to ground that relay um, because it uses less amperage to ground it than it does to feed power. Um, so mega squirt is going to ground that side. Um, basically, that's it. Um, once you get to the fuse block, you know, it's pretty much just plug and play, just follow the wiring harness and things like that. But for your main power, which is where a lot of people have questions, you do need a relay. The ignition switch should not power the Mega Squirt directly. The ignition switch is only to turn on the relay. You want a good relay there, like 50. I'm gonna have to finish up with my phone. My uh, battery ended up dying on my camera before I could finish it. Um, basically, all I was saying is this relay here, you're gonna want a good one, like a 50, 60, 70 amp relay. Um, you got an 80 amp fuse, so you'll, that relay will never see over 80 amps, but you do want a good one. You don't want to run just like a generic 30 amp because you will blow the relay. Um, Oh, you'll burn it up and then you're left stranded on the road until you can find another relay. You do want to put this all in a good location you can't access later um, in case you have any issues with anything. Um, if you need any more help um, kind of going through it and maybe actual practice versus a wiring diagram. Um, actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. I got my wiring harness here. So let's just go ahead and kind of step through it. Um, basically, the way it's going to work is you're going to come off the battery. Sorry, guys. I'm having to record my phone. My... Uh, camera battery finally died come off the battery to here um, that's gonna be your main power then when you got the relay the ignition switch is going to feed power to the relay Then from the relay you go to here and then from here you're gonna take your mega squirt harness which they do an excellent job with let me set the camera to the side here guys they do an excellent job making sure all the wires are labeled things like that 
Um, just find your main power wire, feed power to it to turn the box on. There's a couple other ones here that are going to need power. Um, then all your grounds need to be in one spot. Do not solder this to one bigger wire and then put that somewhere. Um, I've read a lot of bad things happen when you do that. Um, Mega Squirt states multiple times to make sure these stay individual. Um, you, I have heard people putting these all in one connector and then putting them to the battery, um, but just to make sure that these stay individual. Um, then as far as fuse block placement, that's wherever you want to put it. Um, that's up to you. So, but that's basically it. Um, I tried to go not as in depth as I possibly could and bore you guys. Just try to do something quick, simple. Um, if you know wiring, it should be pretty easy to follow. The biggest biggest key, I know I've stated a lot, is to use a relay. You will burn the wire up if you try to come directly off the ignition source. Um, the ignition source is just to turn that relay on so you can get your feed power. Um, I guess go ahead and show you guys. Intercooler's in. Intake's on. Uh, I finally got a tube to fit that, which is a 45, which is right here. Fits that with a 45 degree angle so I can go straight to my intercooler. Um, monstrous intake. I finally got a tube to clear my HX35 turbo down here. I'm gonna have to do a little clearancing on the firewall. Same here. A little clearancing there to make that intake fit. I did delete the old fusible links. Got a new style fuse block. Much better. Moved the alternator regulator to there to clean that up. So, only thing left is rust repair. Got some pretty bad rust. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna move my wastegate a little bit more. I got a little bit too big of one, <laughs> and it hits the manifold, the exhaust manifold. So I'm gonna have to move it to about right here. And uh, throttle linkage and a couple other things. Fuel pump. Pull the rear end out. Finish the exhaust. Finish the plumb the fuel. Wire in the mega squirt. So laundry list of stuff to do, but it's coming along, guys. But hopefully this mega squirt video helps you understand better how to wire this up um, there's a guy on facebook on the z lover page that i'm really hoping this helps understand a little bit better so for now that's it um i'm gonna try to get out of here and get some work i just bought a boat uh for a killer deal so i guess i'll show you guys that in a later video we're gonna try to get it running uh it's cranking over but it's just not firing uh it's getting fuel but it sounds like it's not getting any spark but anyway that's another day for now guys peace